Hi, welcome to my completion parade. I am Nancy, Pampered with Diamonds, and today we have my completion parade in no particular order. We have by Brilliant Art, my reindeer, which I've blinged up around the outside, and I added bling in the scarf and in the in his hooves uh, that are holding the yummy coffee cup. I hope he's drinking coffee. So that is, this is going to a friend to put up in her office. Next, we have my glow in the dark pumpkin by Make Market. He was fun to bling up. I really didn't bling him up other than what they included. They gave glow in the dark this all glows in the dark, glow in the dark drills. That's really all I did. I put washi tape on the frame and not sure what I'm doing with him yet. I might hang him up at, on my front door. Next we have Fruit Popsicle by Make Market. This washi tape's coming off. Anybody have any tips or tricks on how to keep washi tape from coming up? Put it in the comments. This is Fruit Popsicle, and I did bling it up a little bit in the water. You can see some of the ABs. I put them in there. So I blinged it up just a little bit, a little in the uh, pool floaty, I guess. So there you have it, Fruit Popsicle. My next two are two that I did at the same time, but I only entered this into an event that I was doing with um, dragons and stuff, change of seasons. I completed this one and I blinged up the arrow and the license plate and the lights and the mirrors. Everything else is as it's supposed to be plotted out. So this is my make market. This is farmer's market, I believe it's called. Let's see, what is it called? Farmer's Market. Yep, this one's Farmer's Market. And the frame is just masking tape and then washi tape on top. This one, I just did for fun alongside that one. This is called Fall Harvest. I blinged up the bird. He was fun. Everything else is as is but it's a, it's a partial. And I did the masking tape and then the washi tape around the outside. That's fall harvest. This one, can I turn this one? Okay. This one I actually found in our local secondhand store, um, a, like a Goodwill, but it's called Waterfront. And this much of it was done. I guess they tried it and decided this is not for me and they donated it. And I picked it up for five bucks. Well, it just so happened that Starlight Starbright 70 was having an Eeyore event for that month of September. So I decided to do it. And I blinged up Eeyore. And I blinged up the eyes of the other guy, of Winnie, Tigger, and Piglet. I blinged up their eyes. But Eeyore, I did the hair. I did his eyes. I did his nose. I did his legs. So I kind of blinged up Eeyore because he's the star of this canvas for this event. So this is Winnie the Pooh and Friends by Diamond Dots. Next, 
It was another event I did. I don't, I think it was August. This is Kitty Knits. This is a partial as well. And I blinged up my kittens and I blinged up, no, it was just the kittens I blinged up because the flowers in the canvas, it already came blinged up. They wanted you to bling up the flowers, but I did the kittens too. So, and again, masking tape on the outside and washi tape on top of it. Any tips and tricks for that? Just let me know. I'm not sure what I'm doing with this one either. I might give it as a gift. Might try to sell it. Not sure. Okay, this is Kitty Knits. The next one, this is one that I'm actually working on right now for an event called Sugar Skull slash Halloween. And it is with shenanigans with the birds diamond paint hashtag diamond painting with friends and i am actually making the ghosts i'm going to do the frame of the ghosts in glow in the dark glitter you can see i started it there is a video with my experiment on using this and how i placed it so you can go check out an experiment and that We'll tell you all about it. This is also a make market canvas and it is a full drill. So it's sticky here. The whole thing is drilled. So that's make market three ghosts. Okay, this is my big one for June to July. This is Bountiful Voyage. It's a diamond art club piece by All Class Studio. This one took me a long time. This is my first large piece. I had so much fun with it. I did not bling anything up because it was my very first diamond art club and I wanted to see what the rendering looked like. Well, it's absolutely beautiful. I have a few videos out there with my progress of this piece and my post review on this piece along with the kit down. So if you would like to see that, I have that video and we will link it somewhere in the video. Now my next one is a spoiler. It's for a mystery for Diamond Art Club. It's a Randall Spangler mystery number 59. It is completed. If you do not want to see it, like and subscribe. Thank you for visiting. I will not be mad if you leave my video at this point. I will give you a second. Okay. Here is Randall Spangler mystery number 59. I had so much fun with this one. I'm a diabetic. And this could have put me in a diabetic coma, I think. I'm not too sure. I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's full of cookies and cookies and Kit. I think these are Kit Kats, donuts, nut clusters, a cupcake, cupcakes. Dragons, you got your dragons and your drag, uh, Randall Spangler. You got Oreos. You got a golden teapot, which is absolutely gorgeous. I think that's the highlight of this piece is this teapot and this kitten, this cat. This cat, I think is our villain. The description on this is uh, watch out for the villains. They may come try to steal your stuff or something along those lines. So I did not bling this up anything extra except for the masking tape and the washi tape on top. Absolutely gorgeous and fun piece. Had so much fun with it. All right, thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day 
and watch for my next video.